Hi guys, it is a spectacularly gorgeous, though a little bit chilly and a little bit windy as you may be hearing on the microphone, Monday morning here in the end times in Paradise in Garfield, Texas, Monday, March 12th, 2018 I believe, so I've got to dive in to which will only be a one part economic meltdown roundup rant for this Monday. But before I dive in to the global industrial economy taking down a planet, something I want to dive into my uh, Humpty Dumpty Tribe mailbag to see what's on the minds of both alert and non-alert members. Uh, I just gave this new tribes member, what is his name, uh, Rue 1066 the comment of the day a few days ago. So uh, I, I normally would read out this, it was a good comment, it's, uh, th this was a comment in response to uh, Andy's rant, View from Zombie Island. Uh, but anyway, just at the end of the article, the, the, the end of his long comment, he actually has two nice, intelligent, alert comments. He drops this into the middle of, of his comments. The world war against nature by almost all nations, with the exception of Ecuador and a few others will continue unabated. Mother Nature is suffering horrible losses, but you can be sure that she will respond with a horrifying, astonishing vengeance upon all of humanity. Okay, my <coughs> response to Rue 1066. I am assuming your ignorant comment about Ecuador Ecuador was your attempt at ironic satire, in which case you get the Mark Twain gold star. But if it was made even halfway seriously, amigo, and I mean this with great respect, pull your head out of your clueless fucking moron ass. Ditto if Costa Rica was included in a few others. There is no country on this planet. Uh, anyway, this shit about Ecuador, don't even, don't even get me going. Uh, you know, since that little fucking um, planet-eating snake in the grass, a uh, little piece of shit hypocrite, Rafael Correa, finally uh, got out of office. Uh, I, I've just kind of laid off Ecuador. But, but come on, people. Moving along. Uh, you, you know, I've been talking about that we need to do, that I'm thinking about starting even a new feature here on Humpty Dumpty Tribe as if I don't have enough. And that's the word of the day, where we look at the word, a particular word for the day, to find out what the real definition is and comment on it. So Sea Wanderer, my old buddy Sea Wanderer, has chosen to feature the word rant. The word rant, uh, which I think is an excellent place to kick off word of the day. And he's responding... Um, in this case, to Andy's view from Zombie Island rant. Not so much my rants, I don't think, although my rants sound a lot like Andy's. So anyway, Sea Wander has shared with us uh, rant. So the verb form of rant, speak or shout at length in an angry, impassioned way. Sound off, spout, pontificate, 
trumpet, bluster, <coughs> declaim, shout, yell, roar, bellow, mouth off, vociferate. There was the verb. Now let's look at the noun rant. A spell of ranting, no shit. A tirade. Tirade, harangue, diatribe, broadside, verbal onslaught, and a word I've never heard in my life, but I like it, philippic. Philippic. And then Sea Wanderer winds up by saying, not the best way to impart serious points, exclamation point. What? And so, of course, my response to Sea Wanderer was, I heartily disagree with that last point. Obviously, Sea Wanderer, you are not a fan of George Carlin, Bill Hicks, Bill Burr, Joe Badgett, Lenny Bruce. Well, I think you get what I mean. But he's still not, uh, he's still not finished with Andy. Uh, then he keeps on, the truth is obscured in the sound of one's harsh, strident voice and assertion. This is a bullying form of communication and wearisome to listen to. Andy's assertions about Gaia are ill-informed and downright ignorant. Shouting from a soapbox does not make one right, exclamation point. And then he keeps on uh, lambasting Andy, and then he looks at the adjective polemical. There you go. <coughs> of or involving strongly critical or disputatious writing or speech, synonyms critical, hostile, bitter, polemic, virulent, vitriolic, venomous, waspish, corrosive, biting, caustic, trenchant, cutting, acerbic, sardonic, sarcastic, scathing, acid, sharp, keen, tart, pungent, stinging, astringent, incising, incisive, devastating, and piercing. And Andy's comment to Sea Wanderer, what are you ranting on about, Sea Wanderer? And my comment to Andy, that was exactly my question, amigo. I think poor Sea Wanderer got up on the wrong side of bed today. So we let's all wish our old uh, Alert Tribes member Sea Wanderer a good night's sleep tonight because he seems to have his panties in a wad and uh, anyway we can't have that and speaking of getting panties in a wad I'm gonna wrap up today's comment of the day and uh, come back with my extended probably but one part economic meltdown roundup rant coming up in one minute. Bye guys.